What's up everyone? I'm your female otaku and today we're having another vlog. And why is my foot up here? Well, it's because I just want to show you my, my sandal. I think it's pretty cool. I'll show you a full body shot of my outfit later. That was kind of uncomfortable. Today I am going over to Broadway over in New York, of course, and I'm going to see the play Something Rotten. Did you hear that? There were just two chipmunks fighting. Okay, this vlog is off to a pretty bad start right now. Something Rotten is about, the, it takes place during the time when Shakespeare was being a hit, you know, with all of his plays. And these guys, they are in Shakespeare's shadow. So what they are trying to do to be better than Shakespeare is to create the first ever musical. And it's supposed to be a hilarious comedy. Music and dancing is supposed to be great. I've been to so many Broadway plays. I will show you all my playbills that I have. But before we go over to the Broadway play, a couple other things that we're going to be doing is, of course, we got to get over to Times Square. The play is basically right next to where Times Square is, so I will have a bunch of awesome shots. And I'm also going to be eating lunch at this place in Times Square. It's called Bubba Gump's, so you know it's inspired by Forrest Gump. It probably has a lot of seafood there, I don't know. I've never been there, and I don't really eat seafood, but we'll see. Anyway, here's my full outfit here. I always like to dress up a little fancy for when I, whenever I go over to Broadway plays. Because, I don't know, it, it's just the way. You don't want to go in there with like frumpy clothes and stuff. Even though I am wearing ripped shorts. But you notice, whatever, it's cool, it's cool, man, it's cool. So. Now let's go look at the part that everyone loves with every vlog, the montages. Over at my school, I am in a special program known as the Academies. Think of it as somewhat of an elite group of students over at my school. You don't have to be an honor student because I am not an honor student, but you do get some pretty special privileges. Like we go on these Broadway trips. We went to the United Nations. We went over to Philadelphia and Boston. A lot of fun over there. And we always travel in a really nice bus because screw those school buses.
Fun fact, the lead actor Rob McClure is an alumni of my high school. In 2013, he was nominated for a Tony Award for his performance of Charlie Chaplin in the hit musical Chaplin. Now it's theater etiquette not to be recording when you're over at a play. But I feel bad for those of you who have never seen a Broadway play. intermission and so far I am really really loving this play and I'm really happy because I always like those risque kind of plays so you know they they you know push the boundaries push the limits of what they're not supposed to do and I always love that and so far this is actually like the funniest play I have seen so far and I've seen uh, I've mostly seen dramas that have like a little bit of comedy here and there but nothing like that's a straight comedy unless I don't know maybe maybe Mamma Mia I guess Mamma Mia could be like a straight, I guess it's like a rom-com really. I've seen Mary Poppins, Matilda, uh, Pippin, oh Pippin was definitely a comedy, Pippin was great. Uh, Pippin was actually my favorite musical for a while, but after this, and this is only act one, since you know it's intermission right now, I, this is definitely the best comedy I've seen when it comes to like Broadway plays, so I highly recommend it, even though it's intermission right now and the play isn't even over yet, still, I love it. It is awesome. Conceivably unbelievably hard. It's hard to be the bard. Honestly, I don't know how I do it. There's only so much for me to go around. I got so many plans and so many demands. I can't hardly can take a piss. Be convenient, be it a freak, be autographed, sing it loud. I want a piece of this. <laughs> After 
the show, we got to chat with Rob McClure and a few other members of the cast. It was also his birthday. Do you Thanks. Happy birthday, dear Rob. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. I'm 34. Oh, thank you, guys. This God. is your birthday song. It doesn't last so long. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Well, they, I mean, there were workshops of this for years before, um, um, but then they rehearsed for probably five weeks, four weeks, yeah. four weeks and then um, and then tech rehearsal when they put it together and then they opened. I have only been in it for two weeks. Um, I, I replaced Brian Darcy James two weeks ago, and uh, so my process was different. So the show's been running almost 500 performances now, and uh, so I... Uh, had 11 days in a rehearsal room, not here, with just me, the uh, estate Peyton, um, uh, uh, the associate director, and our dance captain, Eric Giancola, uh, who is the... Um, the Nazis have arrived! That guy. <laughs> he knows every part in the show. So it was just me and him, with the director and Peyton watching, um, and him playing every other part, um, and me running the show with just him. And that's how I learned where I go, what I stand, what I do. Um, all the dancing, and then um, and then two Thursdays ago, I had what's called my put in. So I come here at one o'clock. I meet everyone, shake hands. We run through the show once, and I'm wearing costumes and microphone because I've never done it like that before. They've done it, so they're in street clothes. It's just me in costume and mic mm -hmm. with a piano, no orchestra. And then the first time I do it is that night. So I had eleven days, and then my put in, and then we went that night. Uh, so it's crazy. It's a little like dive in. Yeah. What else? Overall, I would give Something Rotten a 9 out of 10. I would have given it a 10 out of 10, but I just felt that the play should have been longer. Definitely one of the shortest plays I've ever seen. Next vlog I will be making is my trip over to the Poconos in Pennsylvania. I'll be going there for a weekend for Father's Day camping. It's a tradition in my family. I'm your female otaku. Sayonara.